I hear the rain And it sings to me the ballad of your name I'm Okay, so let's talk about the Maldives. Uh, it's one of the most exclusive places on earth. Every time we told people uh, that we we're going through Asia and listing off the countries, every time I said the word Maldives, they'd always go, oh my God. So it's obviously a beautiful place. The first two days I spent in Mali, which is the capital city, I learned that you actually had to be Muslim to live in Mali and that most women are covered up. So I covered up for the most time that I was there. As you can see, my shoulders are covered because it's a very orthodox place. Yeah, cover your legs, cover your shoulder blades. It's and very religious. Rebels. There's about 120,000 people crammed into this small, small location, but it's not bad. Take a look at this view. on Instagram the fact that we were heading into the country and this, this guy named Lucas actually messaged Natalia and offered all of us a free float plane ride uh, to see all the islands. And it was so breathtaking. It looked like little polka dots and it was just bright blue water, white sand beaches and most of the little islands were actually resorts of their own which is something I've never seen before. Alex and I couldn't take our eyes off of it. We had our cameras out and we looked back and I think Mike was a little bit exhausted because he was sleeping for the most part. The head of marketing for Anatara Kiaba reached out to us and that was actually one of the top uh, resorts in all of the Maldives and she invited us to stay on at their resort. This resort was rated one of the, the number one best place to go for lovers. And we're gonna go and check it out. This is one of the most unique places on the entire planet in the scheme of white sand beaches, blue water, scuba diving, fishing, and all that. This is gonna be an absolute trip. Let's go. welcomed us with drums, a whole drumming ceremony, and then a glass of champagne as well. They gave us a tour of the whole island, and then uh, they showed us our villas. I had my own private villa, which was, oh gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. As soon as we arrived, exited reality and entered fantasy. Um, you, it was incredibly beautiful. Uh, you have this long row of beautiful bungalows right on the water, each one with their own infinity pool. Everything looks like straight out of a, a picture that you've seen in a magazine. I've never seen anything quite like it or been anywhere quite like that. Just scenic. My jaw was dropped the entire time. We only had 27 hours at the resort, so we had to jam pack all these really fun activities into those 27 hours. The first one we did was a sunset scuba dive. I don't have my scuba diving certificate, so I went on a discovery dive. Now that no gentleman offers to, to help you, so I guess I have they to. They usually don't do the dressing of women, yeah, they do the undressing. Right. And if you go, Jesus. We 
got a chance to go parasailing. Uh, I've never actually gone parasailing before, uh, so it was, that was my first, and it was, it was a pretty cool experience. Uh, so they just attach this huge parachute onto you and, and rip you uh, down the boat and, and lift you up uh, probably about 100 feet in the air. And you got to just get a chance once again to see an aerial of the Maldives and, and we really got to appreciate this island that we were staying at. No guarantee if we're going to find any manta rays, so they said no promises going out there, but uh, luckily when we went out there we stumbled on 60 manta rays. interactive with us uh, you know we have some up close personal shots Alex actually got hit in the side with one of the manta ray fins uh, they told us not to make contact with them but if they come and run into us it's, it's not our fault right and it was again it was kind of like a dream I don't even know if it happened or not so we'll have to check out the footage and make sure that's real so now we're heading off to Sri Lanka and uh, we'll see you there peace in our life we all have pain we all have trouble but we are wise we know that there is tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> lean on me when you're not strong i'll be your friend i'll help you carry on